Here's the secret sauce for music licensing success, whether you are a beginner or you have some type of experience with music licensing. And the secret sauce is to be consistent and be persistent. Now, what this means is that you need to be consistent and persistent with your music. You need to treat your music the way you want your music to be perceived as, right? And what that means is that you need to be serious about it. You need to stop thinking too much as an artist, as a composer, you need to start wearing some different hats now. You need to start thinking of your music as a business. When you start thinking about music licensing, you start thinking about the fact that you wanna sell your music. A lot of musicians are really uncomfortable with the word selling. You feel like you're selling out or you feel like you're not really made for this. You just wanna be a musician, you just wanna be an artist. But when it comes down to music licensing, what you wanna do is really wear the hat as the business owner of your music. You are the real deal here. You are the composer, you are the mixer, you are the executive, you are everything. Okay, so in music licensing, what we need to start thinking about our music and our composition is that every single piece of music that we're writing is a product and it's a product that somebody else wants to purchase. The only reason why they're not purchasing your music yet, they're not buying your music yet, is because your music is still in your hard drive or your music is still in your head. So you, get, you need to get that music out of your head and if you haven't created that music yet, create it out of the ether, create it out of like thin air, literally, and put it online and sell it to other content creators that might want to use your music. When I say might, it's because the more you create and the more music you have out there, the bigger the chances of you selling that music. Remember, you're selling a license here. And this is where you have to start thinking in those terms, right? So my music is not just this thing that I make for fun or just because. You know, we, we have already ticked those boxes as musicians, as composers, but now we're making music because we wanna turn it into a business. We really wanna think of every music composition as a product, right? The music libraries are a business. They're run by people, they're real money-making machines, and they need music. There's clients who are looking for music in those libraries, in these places, these websites. Talent is really overrated when it comes down to music licensing. Plugins are really overrated. It doesn't matter what plugins you're using. It doesn't matter what <laughs> samples you're using. It doesn't matter if you know how to read music, okay? It doesn't. It doesn't matter if you play an instrument even, okay? Certain things could matter a little bit more than others, but it's not about that. It's about are you persistent enough and are you consistent enough with your pursuit of music licensing success. If you're new to music licensing or to royalty free libraries, download my free guide, link in the description. Thank you so much for all the love and support and as always, rock and roll and here's to your success. Mm -hmm.